Hi, I'm Erica. I had an art attack using glue, newspaper and carpet roll to make my totem pole. Hi, my name's Helen. After modelling some shapes of some characters on my totem pole, I used paper mache and white tissue paper to add strength and texture. Then I painted it. Hi, I'm Joe. I made a totem pole using a carpet tube. I stuck a moulded newspaper shape and painted it with some traditional colours. Oh, brilliant art attack, totem poles. Now, tribesmen carve their totem poles out of hollowed out tree trunks. Now, we're going to carve our totem poles out of hollowed out <laughs> loo roll tubes. Now, you can use as many as you want, and the idea is to stack them one on top of each other. And to get them to join together, we'll have to make some cardboard collars. And to do this, cut some strips of cereal box card, and you need to have strips that measure the same width as your loo roll tube, but a couple of centimetres taller and you need three of those and then just roll it up like that and pop it into the top of your loo roll tube and just force it out to the shape of your loo roll tube and press it in so it goes about halfway in and then glue or tape it securely in place and when your tape or your glue is dry do the same with the rest of your loo roll tubes and you have some really secure cardboard collars and you'll be able to stack them one on top of the other like that. And when you've got them, just take them apart like that and then design on your totem pole faces. Now, it's a good idea to make these as bizarre as you possibly can. Because you see, those tribesmen in Northwest America and Canada, they used to make some really weird and bizarre carvings and they were based on their chief's family or the history of their chief. And I don't know why they made them so weird maybe it was to frighten other tribes away or something like that but i think it's great fun to make some really gruesome faces you can model them on whoever you like really maybe even in your own family and when you've got it to this stage you can if you want paint it but if you want to make it look realistic make it look really carved then add some 3d to the features and you can pop on some cut out bits of cardboard there's a nice cardboard nose or what about this why not mix some pva glue in equal parts with water and then dip in some scrunched up bits of loo roll or tissue paper just dipping them in there scrunch those up and it's just a case of pressing them onto your loo roll tube and molding them into place to give it a nice carved 3d feel and if you do the whole of your loo roll tube in exactly the same way when the glue is dry look at that the tissue paper has gone rock solid and it really does look carved and again do all the loo roll tubes in exactly the same way only design each one a bit different from the others and you have something that looks like that and then decide which one you want to go on the bottom i think i've used that one on the bottom and cut a good stiff card square from cereal box card and the sides of that square need to measure roughly the same as the height of your loo roll tube and then just put a load of glue on the bottom of this loo roll tube and then just stick it securely to that cardboard base and you're just going to leave it to one side to so dry and while it's drying you can take one of your other loo roll tubes and paint it up and because you've done such gaudy faces it's a good idea to use gaudy colours. You just paint this tongue to show you. And if you do them all in the same way, you can add on more bits of detail with felt tip pen. And when they're finished, they look something like that when your paint's dry. And it's just a case of stacking them one on top of the other with your cardboard collars. And there it is. Or with a bit of sticky out card and tissue paper, your own homemade totem pole. Now you can of course do one based on bizarre and weird faces like this one I've done here or you can try a themed totem pole. What about doing the theme of the family? And on the bottom is long suffering dad and then on top of him is mum and then on top of mum is screaming baby. <laughs> or what about doing an animal theme? What about a cheeky monkey on the bottom and a fierce tiger with cardboard bristles there? and an owl at the top with cardboard wings. Or what about 
you could even try a sporty one. And on the bottom there, I've got a rugby player, and then a tennis player with cardboard arms and racket, a cricket player, and on the top, a hockey player. All stuck together with cardboard collars. Try it yourself, your own homemade totem pole, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra!